So I believe the future is for those that have skills like that are intelligent, that are able to make use of their critical thinking ability, people that can actually have and create innovative ideas. You know, the um, father of robotics was was a scientist, comics um, writer, Isaac, Aso um, Isaac Asomov. He, he imagines things, then draws them, then write them down. It was now, in particular, yeah, I think 1950s, no, no, maybe 1850s, when people that were able to make use of their and ideas, they created the first robots in the world. That was that was a um, construct, construction robot. They used in construction sites. So the future is for those who have skills like critical uh, critical thinking, teamwork. You know, on this, I would like to relate to the challenge. You know, on this masterpiece and on our core values, we have teamwork. That's the time. That's the time is your ability to collaborate with people, with people and have a peaceful co uh, coexistence. So these are actually virtues that are very very and expensive. Because you don't just come across them anyway. So I believe the future is for those who can actually work smart and work hard at the same time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ismail. He's talking about smart working, putting smartness, not smart dressing, but putting a lot of smart thinking into the work that you do, right? And um, I like that you took us back into history to understand uh, the father of robotics and um, how he. Um, began to jot down his thoughts, and that um, created, created the journey that we have today about robotics. So thank you very much indeed for that. Yes, my dear Anita, what do you think about this, you know, the skills, competencies that you need for the work of tomorrow? The skills are plenty, but based on the one I feel it's very, very important is critical thinking. Robotics is a field that can help students develop a wide range of critical competencies, including problem solving, critical thinking, and technical skills. Working with robots can help students become more creative, collaborative, and detail-oriented. They can also learn things mathematically and logically, and to identify the errors and fix them. All of these skills are important for success in both academics and workplace. Robotics is a valuable tool for enhancing students' skills and preparing them for the future. Now, critical thinking. Robotics can help students develop critical thinking skills by providing opportunities to analyze information, evaluate evidence, and make judgments. Additionally, robotics can help students learn how to access different perspectives and consider alternative viewpoints. According, according to Joe Jones, the co-founder of VEX Robotics, Robotics is the perfect vehicle for teaching critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, and communication skills. No, continue. <laughs> okay, yes. so concerning the issue of critical thinking, it's thinking, but you need to really, really calm down, think critically. The world is turning into the world of AI, artificial intelligence. So we are young people, we go to schools that teach our parents think they are the best. So from there, and nowadays, our teachers are technology. There are, there are people that have a lot of technology, from our smartphones to our systems. We use so many ways. Now, nowadays, like me, practically in school, we do offer computer. Whenever we are going home, the topic we are about to resume school with, our teacher gives us an assignment in it. Like before we came, we did database. We converted it using PDF. So you see, in, when, during our parents' time, they didn't have such an ability. But by the help of God, our teachers had to sit, think critically, and, and create a way so that it will help us grow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anita. You are reminding us again that we are old and we are not digitally telling us that our parents didn't have this chance. I said, I want to go back to school so that I can have this chance and learn these things. Eh? Thank you so much, Anita. So, our coach, what do you think about what um, your students have said so far? What, what are your thoughts? I think they are on the right track. And I also love what Anita said. She acknowledged the fact that their teachers are also, they are up to date with the latest skills or what is necessary for them to grow in terms of their field of, of knowledge or whatsoever they are studying in school. Their teachers are up and doing, which we are sure that we are not relenting. So, but I will still want to throw more light on those some of the points they have mentioned. They actually mentioned a lot of points. What I also want them to talk about, or probably let me add more points to their point by saying that problem solving skill should also be part of what they need to understand in terms of solving or working in the areas of robotics. You must learn to solve problems. 
the robot games you see or you performed or you did yesterday, there are particular tasks and assignments attached to it. If you are not critical in your thinking or if you are not problem solving oriented, you will not even understand how to think and solve some of these problems. So problem solving is also another point that should be put into consideration when we are talking about artificial intelligence or coding, programming, and robotics. Thank you very much. Problem solving, and that is the key element that comes to play when you are trying to provide solutions to challenges. Because you see a problem, you prefer a solution to it, and that ability to do that is what gives you success, exactly. right? Exactly. And that, on that note, it takes me to the next topic right. that I would like us to discuss. Because then, we have done all these things. You've done your innovative innovation projects. You've done your robotic games. You've designed your robots. But how do you begin to bring this, all this together? Into bring all this together and take it to the market. How do you create an entrepreneurial spirit out of this? How do you build something that becomes commercialized? How do you build something that can be used in industry? So we say, yes, you're nurturing tomorrow, but how will this, what you're learning today, how is it gonna help you get into an entrepreneurial state? How do you see it giving you the mindset to become an entrepreneur and how creativity and innovation comes to bear in everything you're doing for business, for entrepreneurial endeavors, and all of that. And at this point, I will want to start from Anita at the end there. Okay, how can fit competencies help us in the industrial aspect, right? Yes, how does it get, get you into how do you apply the things you've learned here that you're learning now, how do you apply it into entrepreneurial endeavors? How do you progress it into business? How do you see the pathway, the trajectory for you to get into business and begin to do things that will earn you some returns? How do you solve problems that will enable you to say, okay, for example, let me give you a typical example. The man that created Facebook, right? He knows how to, to write codes. But problem solving, right? Critical thinking made him realize that, oh, people would like to connect to each other, okay? So what's that progression? How do you see that progression for you? In that sense, based on what you have been learning with the robotics and all, all this here. Okay. Based on what I've been learning, well, I can apply what I've learned in so many aspects. Like, I'm from Yobe, one of the most towns that has been known in the northern aspect. Yobe, but I'm originally from Borono. Well, from there, people love using traditional perfumes, of which you use herbs and other things. Well, with my own skills, uh, do, normally, the way they advertise it is them following house to house or maybe on a phone call. But in my own aspect, I will sit. This thing has been packaged in leather. Why is it in leather? Let's create something nice, something attractive that when it is being stored in, people pass and be like, wait, what's this? Something from the north. You buying perfumes that are normally use this time around, not knowing that they are one of the ancient traditions that is very, very useful. I grew up using it. I'm still using it, and I'm enjoying it. This is one of the things I'm aspiring fa to have. Fa fa fantastic. I like exactly. it. So you're bringing the old into the new. modern. Yes, sir. Exactly. The old into the new, ancient into the modern. Fantastic. I like that concept. Can we please clap for her for that, please? Yes. Harriet. I'd like to think about robotics and specifically FTC, First Tech Challenge, which is what I do, as kind of creating a product in the sense that there are so many different aspects that your team needs to work with, which is building, programming, branding, finance and management, things like that. And the product you are creating in this sense is your robot. 
first of all when you are moving into an entrepreneurial 